Hi everyone, welcome to Calculus 2. This is an example from chapter 3.3. This is given the velocity, we're going to calculate the displacement between two different times. We'll calculate the magnitude of that displacement and the distance traveled within those times. Okay, so our, our velocity function is e to the t radical 2 minus e to the minus t in meters per second. Okay, so our velocity equation is a vector. Okay, so when we want to be able to calculate our displacement, from time t equals 0, time t equals 1, what we're going to do is <coughs> we're going to integrate from 0 to 1 our velocity with respect to t. Okay, now what this means is we're going to be integrating each individual function within here Okay, so that the displacement is also going to be a function, a multi-component function. So when I integrate e to the t, I'm also going to get e to the t. I'm going to analyze that from 0 to 1. When I integrate radical 2, I'm going to get radical 2 times t from 0 to 1. When I integrate minus e to the minus t, I get e to the minus t from 0 to 1. Okay, when I go to analyze that, right, I'm going to get e to the 1 minus e to the 0. This is going to be radical 2 times 1 minus radical 2 times 0. It's going to be e to the minus 1 minus e to the minus 0, which is still 0. Okay, And then this is our <coughs> displacement, which is also a vector. And this is our displacement from time t equals 0 to time t equals 1. Okay, When we go to calculate the magnitude, okay, what we're going to be doing with this is <coughs> We're going to calculate the magnitude of our displacement from time t equals 0 to time t equals 1. So we're going to use the displacement that we found from those two time differences. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate, <coughs> this is going to be each component, e to the minus 1 minus 0 squared, radical 2 squared, e to the minus 1 minus e to the 0 squared, and I'm going to square root it. I s the sum of the squares and I take the square root and that's going to give me the magnitude. These are all just numbers, e to the 1, e to the 0, radical 2, all of these things. When I plug it into my calculator and I get an actual number, I get my magnitude is roughly 2.3134 meters. Okay? <coughs> Alright, so now let me erase this. Now what we want to do is calculate the distance traveled. And we're going to go the distance traveled between time t equals 0 to t equals 1. Okay, so this is slightly different than our displacement. So now our distance traveled, remember, we're going to go from 0 to 1. Now I have to take the magnitude of my velocity ahead of time. So when I do this, I'm going to go 0 to 1. I'm going to take each component of my velocity. I'm going to square it. Square root it. And then take the integral. <coughs> okay, so there's some algebra involved in this. This looks like e to the 2t plus 2 plus e to the minus 2t from 0 to 1 dt, <coughs> and there's some algebra. This is actually, once I square everything out and bring it together, this is the form, a plus b quantity squared. Okay, I've got this squared, I'm taking the square root, so it just looks like e to the t plus e to the minus t, because I've taken the square of the square root, so they cancel each other, and then I can just go ahead and integrate that, and I'm going to get e to the t minus e to the minus t evaluated from 0 to 1. And what that's going to give me is e to the 1 minus e to the minus 1 <coughs> minus e to the 0 minus e to the 0. And in the end, this part goes out to 0, and we get 
e to the 1 minus e to the minus 1 meters, which is roughly equal to 2.35 meters, okay? Which is just slightly bigger than our displacement from time t equals 0 to time t equals 1, okay? So that ends our example.